Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Now, I did not plan to make a video today. I literally was just going to have today's video that I had scheduled months ago upload today and that was going to be it. However, that is now not the case. I am currently in hubby's room filming this because my mom is currently asleep in her room and I don't want to wake her, you know, by talking in my room. So this video, as you can see by the title, it says, Harley Baby has challenged me. Now, this is the first time I have been challenged by like any YouTuber ever, and that's just because I only have 43 subscribers who's really going to challenge me other than my best friend. So I was, <laughs> it was funny because, you know, I, I woke up this morning and, you know, I knew Harley Baby was going to drop a video today because it's, it's Wednesday. And so I was waiting patiently for my video and I was waiting patiently for her video. And then once it dropped, I watched it and, you know, I kind of, I just waited till the end. And she goes, oh yeah, like, and th you know, this is going to be a longer video just for this purpose. She had said, oh, well, at, in the description box in, over, in almost every single trivia video I've done, I've challenged somebody. And I'm kind of sitting here thinking, I've looked at your your description boxes before. I have never once seen you challenge somebody. So it wasn't until pretty much today that I knew about these challenges. And sure enough, the first person that I heard her challenge was me. I, you know, in her saying that she's been challenging people on her trivias, I decided I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple things in this video. One we are going to take this trivia. Even though it's a trivia that I wouldn't necessarily put on this channel. Two, we're gonna react to the video. And three, we are gonna look back at every single trivia Harley Baby has done, and we're gonna see if she actually has challenged some people. And if my name comes up in any of those description boxes, I am gonna be taking that trivia. Now, the only reason why I was sort of also debating whether or not to make this video today was because I had already watched the video and I know the answers. But what I am going to do is basically, well, I, would, I don't want to say that I'm going to give the answers that I thought of when I was sitting down and watching these videos. I legitimately want to try because I did know majority of the 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 songs it's just unfortunately like i couldn't turn up my volume too loud again because i didn't want to wake up my mom and you know i couldn't hear some of them but i do already know the answers however like i said i grew up with the same stuff she did so it's not like i didn't know these things to begin with how this is going to work again is we are going to take the trivia you're going to react to the video because i i know i would usually make a separate video for reacting but this one's just a little too special. So we're going to react to the video and then we're going to go to the descriptions of each of the trivias to see if she has challenged me in any of them or maybe even some of her friends. Got my whiteboard, got my marker, got my eraser, I got everything. So I guess we might as well just get into this. So this is the video I'll be taking the trivia from. It's, it is a theme song video, which I don't particularly like doing because of the copyright thing, but we'll just, we'll give it a shot. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. So I already knew this one was Justice League, but when I first watched it, I had no idea what this one was. But, and again, in watching the video, I know this one is Justice League.
Powerpuff Girls. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And see, when she did it, I didn't, again, I couldn't turn up the volume too loud. I knew the answer because, you know, she had said it, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, but in hearing Grim laugh, I probably would have gotten that on my own. See, this is the problem with, like, I find at least when you challenge someone when it comes to trivia, because the person's going to watch the video, and then they're going to realize you challenged them. So, Harley Baby, just for a recommendation for the future, challenge people in the beginning. Because that way, the person may not watch it, and then they'll go do it for themselves, and they'll, they'll try and guess for themselves blindly without knowing the answers you've guessed. It's just a suggestion, but this one's Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And see, if I didn't watch her video first, I wouldn't have known this. I also kind of guessed it as well, like while I was watching it, because, okay, confession, I watched it while I was on the potty. And <laughs> while I was watching it and I heard the song, I'm thinking, do I just do better in this shit when I take a shit? Anyways, that's Dexter's Laboratory. Hope I get the order of this right. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I think I messed up on the the e the the Ed and the double D and that I don't know. Maybe I got it right, <laughs> but I know it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. name Kids Next Door. One, two, three, go! Baby! Johnny Bravo. Gym partner's a monkey. Now I go to an animal school because mine's my last name. My gym partner's a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. My gym partner's a monkey. <laughs> Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud. He didn't care how. First of all, cow and chicken. Second, Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Daddy was proud he didn't care how? Are we not gonna pick apart those lyrics just a little bit? Cow. Kiki. I love how they silence that bit. Teen Titans! Hey, 
it's Ben 10. I mean, even if you don't know the show, you could kind of pick out the show title from the lyrics. Samurai Jack. Okay, after, oh boy, a the yachting. Obviously, I got 100%. Again, because I ended up watching the video before I took the quiz. Even without doing that, I feel like, one, I would not have gotten Justice League, much like Harley Baby, which you will see in when we react to the video. She, she also didn't get Justice League, which if I hadn't watched the video, I probably wouldn't have gotten that either. I probably still would have gotten Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I would have gotten Johnny Bravo. I still feel like I would have gotten the rest of them, including Dexter's Lab. But I feel like with Dexter's Lab, I may have gotten it wrong because I would have probably second-guessed myself. With that in mind, we are now going to go to her video and react to it. Alright guys, this thing is about uh, almost 8 minutes in length, so let's see how Harley Baby did. Hey Quins, Harley 45 here, welcome back to another trivia. So today's trivia is Classic Cartoon Network Guess the Song. Can you guess them? Let's see if I can. I did love Cartoon Network when I was growing up, so let's see how well I do. As did I, actually. I was never a Disney Channel kid. I was more of the Nickelodeon Cartoon Network kid. I don't think I got into Disney Channel until maybe, like, high school. I also just realized the person that she got this from, I've done a quiz from them. It was a Disney quiz like, oh, a while back. I think it was my first ever fail video, actually. to a great start. I have no idea. See, and if I hadn't watched it first, I'm going to keep pressing this because <laughs> I don't mean to be a bitch about it, but I want you to understand, Harley Baby, if you want to challenge somebody, do it at the beginning. If it wasn't for you, and if it wasn't for me watching this video, I wouldn't have known this was Justice League. Justice League. And again, I, I don't want to be a bitch about it, and I'm not trying to be a bitch about it. I'm just trying to kind of show you that if you do want to challenge somebody, go for it. It just does have to be in the beginning because the person that you're challenging may watch this video all the way through. They now have all the answers. Now they're guaranteed to get 100% and kick your ass on it. So I just want to, it's just a little, you know, friendly criticism that I'm going to keep hounding throughout the entire, <laughs> throughout the entire video. I don't think I'm going to hound you as much if I find challenges in description boxes, only because you, you never know when someone's going to look at the description box. They could either look at it at the beginning of the video, or they could look at it at the end of the video, in the middle of it. You never know. And it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword there. You could either, you could have the person looking at it at the end of the video, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I've been challenged, but now I've seen the whole thing. Or you could have it, you know, the person looks at it in the beginning and they're like, oh, maybe I should do the challenge before I actually watch the video so that way nothing is, like, spoiled for me. Or if it's in the middle, they pretty much have no choice. They either have some of the answers at that point or, it, again, I'm not trying to be a bitch about it, Harley, and I'm very sorry. I just want you to kind of take, take note of that, that if you're going to challenge someone, 
kind of do it in the beginning unless it's not trivia related if it's something like an actual challenge where it's going to be a different experience for the person but they still have to do the same stuff that's something a little different but you just kind of have to you know you have to kind of gauge that when you're challenging someone you, you know you got to look at your 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 content that you're trying to challenge them for and then realize okay is this something I have to warn them about in the beginning or something that I can leave till the end of the video just all a learning, it's all a lesson, that's all it is. It's so cute how excited she got. She's like, yeah, crank it up, yay. This was my show, Powerpuff Girls. Foster's home for imaginary friends. <laughs> Hair marker. Squeaky. I got a funny story to tell you guys. So one of my first ever like high school relationships, one of the more serious ones, lasted about two years and his name was Bill. Now it was around that time I actually started going by my nickname Mandy just because I had been like, okay, it was funny because back in like elementary school and like kindergarten and pretty much from birth up until like fifth grade, I hated being called Mandy because that's all anyone would call me was Mandy you know, and so I just had everyone call me Amanda. And then I hit high school and I figured, well, why not maybe try and like find myself? Cause high school is like when you're trying to find yourself, when you're trying to like discover like who you are and trying to find identity and shit like that. And you know, and of course sometimes that ventures into college as well. So I had everyone just calling me Mandy at that point. So when I hit high school, I was called Mandy. And when Bill and I got together, we always got made fun of and called Billy and Mandy because of this show. I'll admit it was creative for like the first two or three times. And then after that, it was like, can you let the joke just die already? Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I'm so sorry I'm yawning a lot. It's not because I'm bored. It's just because it, hubby's not home and... I'm bored and I don't know what to do and I'll get to that in a chatting skeletons episode probably next year but I'm just bored and I don't know what to do so I kind of want to say thank you Harley baby for giving me this challenge because I wouldn't know what to do with myself today if you didn't See, it was on this exact theme song that I was sitting on the shitter and I was like, that's Dexter's Laboratory, isn't it? That sounds like Dexter's Laboratory. But then I kind of thought to myself, you've never watched a single episode of Dexter's Laboratory. How would you know that? Dexter's Laboratory. Well, don't say it so like, <laughs> you sound like so like sad about it or so pissed off about it. Dexter's Laboratory. Ew. <laughs> small comment as I've been doing throughout this whole thing her handwriting looks like bubble handwriting like it looks so bubbly and the only reason I'm saying that is because 
way back when, like when I was writing a lot, you know, because over time your handwriting can get kind of sloppy if you don't write a lot. Back when I was like in high school and I was writing a whole hell of a bunch, everyone said my handwriting looked bubbly, like it looked like bubble letters. And kind of seeing her handwriting and my handwriting, I'm kind of like, we're just like two little bubble girls. <laughs> we just have the bubble handwriting. <laughs> Codename Kids Next Door. She didn't even want to write out Kids Next Door, she just wrote K and D. <laughs> And I know that's how it appears on the the logo for Codename Kids Next Door, but I just I thought that was actually pretty funny. One, two, three, Did you just roll your eyes at Johnny Bravo, young lady? <laughs> Johnny Bravo. I'll also like to mention, I had a plan for these trivias when I started reacting to them, which, starting Sunday, I mean, I film on Sundays, and my videos now go the, go all the way out until March. And Sunday, I was going to film my first ever reacting video for her trivia, and what I was going to do was I was going to play the trivia along with her, but I guess this is a special circumstance since, you know, she decided to challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm pretty. I wouldn't have known that lyric, but for some reason she knows that lyric, just like she has random knowledge about everything. But I now can't judge her anymore because a couple weeks ago I filmed uh, my first ever horror movie trivia, which you guys will be seeing hopefully either end of January or beginning of February. I got a lot of stuff right, even with the horror movie quiz, that I never thought I would get right. So, and it's it's back to that random knowledge thing where I would give her shit about having random knowledge. And now, like, I can't give her shit anymore because that also proved I have random knowledge about bullshit. And I even told her that when we went to downtown Disney uh, back in November. We just both kind of find it hilarious that now we can't, I can't give her shit. <laughs> Like, what's the same? Now I go to my name school because Lion's my last name. My gym partner is a monkey, 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 monkey. My gym partner is a monkey. Now I go to an animal school because Lion's my last name. My gym partner is a monkey, 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 monkey. My gym partner is a monkey. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Those lyrics are something different, man. I mean, back then you could slide that shit into kids' shows and movies and no one would tell the difference. No one would care. The adults would laugh. The kids would just laugh because mom and dad are laughing. No one knew. Cow and chicken. Chicken. I'll admit, I rarely watched Teen Titans as a kid, but the theme song always sent like chills, like goosebumps down my arms, and still does to this day. Also, Harley Baby, because I know you're probably going to watch this as soon as it uploads. Would you, your hubby, me and my hubby, like to go as some of the members of Teen Titans? Because I would personally love to dress up as Raven. Now he's got superpowers. Dun, 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 dun. 
He's been 10. I didn't know the rest of the lyrics anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> I feel you there, sweetie. What, what's, what's this? Wax on, wax off? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Then again, I can't judge. I was kind of just going like this, like, yay, awkward dancing like I used to do at prom. I mean, I can't judge. She's just getting into the music. It's cute. <laughs> Samurai Jack. So that was Guess the Cartoon Network song. I got 12 out of 13. I am pretty impressed with myself. I either would have gotten that or 11 out of 13 because of Dexter's Laboratory. The only one I didn't get was Justice League. Um, everything everything else was uh, pretty easy to get. I did watch a lot of the those cartoons as a kid. I watched a lot of the weird ones. <laughs> Thank you. As did I, sweetie. Don't worry about it guys so much for watching if you guys want to take this trivia for yourself i'll leave the link down there to the video as well as the channel and i and i've started you know challenging people in the comments below like who i want to challenge usually in the com usually down in the description but this time in in the, at the end of this video i'm gonna call someone out outright disney queen skelly i am challenging you to take this one to see how many you get thank you so much for watching puddings i love you so she initially said it was in the comments, then she went back and said it was in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back because this is number 16, though she's gone out of order. I don't know if she has all 16 videos out or if she has only maybe like 11 or 12 out. We're going to look at every single one of them, description box and comments, to see if she has called people out. So let's start searching. All right, we're going to go to her profile. 40 subscribers. How do you go that quickly? Okay. I guess if you have good content, which she does. Okay, so the first one was Trivia 1, Guess the Cartoon Voice. So let's pause this. Description. This was fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to do this trivia for yourself, this is where I found it. Channel I got it from. Thanks for watching, Puddins. All rights reserved. Okay, so no challenge there. Now let's go to Trivia number 2. So she says, not as great as a score as the last one, but still fun nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to do this trivia yourselves, here it is. Here it's where I found it. Channel where I got the video, all rights reserved. So nothing there. And the only comment on here was left by me, which was, so I guess, so I was guessing along with you. And when I whispered to myself, Batman, I chuckled when you guessed the same thing. And she replied just with the laughing, crying emojis. Okay, so nothing there. Now we're gonna go to, why am I all the way down here? Where's all, where's, where's the shit? Where's all the shit? There it is. Okay, so no, 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 aha. Guess the video game character. I hope to God she didn't challenge me in this one. Okay, it says I may not be a big gamer, but I'm still pleased with the score that I got. If you guys wanna, want to do, take this trip for yourself. Oh, grammatical errors. Here's where I found it, channel where I got the from, all rights reserved. And the only comment here is, I think you did great. You guessed the Riddler a bunch, so I think those count as half points. <laughs> and she says, thank you, haha, ha, yeah, I put question marks when I don't know the answer. So, no challenge there. Let's see, trivia number four. I thought I would do better on this one, but I had fun nonetheless. If you guys want to do this trivia yourselves, here's where I found it, channel where I found it, all rights reserved, thanks for watching. Okay, and then the music in this video, which I don't know how she did that. I did not get challenged there either. We'll go up to trivia five. Okay, well, we're gonna go in the description box. These trivia videos are really fun to do. I hope you guys are enjoying these. If you guys wanna take this trivia for yourselves, here's where I found it channel where I got it from. Thank you for watching put-ins. All rights reserved. And the only comment is mine. I knew that last one, Max from Secret Life of Pets, such a cute movie. So that one, I didn't get challenged either. And let's see, scroll up. Trivia number six. What is your favorite Disney song? I don't think I can pick just one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to take this trivia for yourselves, here's where I found it, channel where I got it from. 
All rights reserved. Thank you, Puddins. Much love. And no comments. Now we're going to go to trivia number seven. I may not have done too well on this one, but I did have fun. And to me, that's what really matters. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you guys want to take this trade for yourself, here's where I found it. Channel I got it from. All rights reserved. Thank you for watching, Puddins. Okay, so nothing there. And nothing in the comments, much like the other ones. Trivia number eight. This one is, how many of these shows did you guys grow up with? Did you watch any of the newer ones or did you only watch only the old school shows? If you guys take this trivia, where I found it, channel, all rights reserved, put-ins, and uh, music in this video. And then I commented, hey, I caught you watching Little Einsteins when I came over recently. So adorable. And she said, yes, you did. So nothing there. Now we're going to go to trivia 11. Now these are where the ones start kind of getting like jumbled up so we're gonna go to 11. i'm really enjoying doing these trivia and i hope you guys are enjoying watching them if you guys want to do this trivia for yourself channel all rights reserved and then the only two comments are i could get i couldn't get moana either if it helped and she goes it was one of those moments where i know but i didn't know and then this guy said good video and she said thank you so nothing there trivia 12 which for some reason blew up like crazy What's your favorite Beauty and the Beast character? I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a fun trivia to take. If you guys want to take this trivia for yourselves, here's where I found it. Channel, thanks for watching, Twitter. And the only comment is good video, and she said thank you. So now we're going to go to trivia nine, which, of course, she put Ariel as the thumbnail, but, you know. Uh, I usually save my trivia videos for Wednesdays, but this one was so much fun that I had to put it in a Saturday video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Trivia for yourselves, channel, all rights reserved. Thank you for watching, Puddins. And the only comment is from my first channel. I have a couple things to say. One, I'm so disappointed you didn't get Lumiere, young lady, El Neo. Second, thank you for getting my favorite Aladdin song right. Wasn't challenged there. Now we're going to go up to pretty much almost to the top. So this one's 13. For a girl who really doesn't play video games, I'm pretty proud of how I did on this trivia. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to do this for yourselves, channel, Puddins, Twitter. So not there either. Harley, baby, I'm beginning to think you lied to me here. Okay, trivia 14. How many of you guys are Disney freaks like me? I still can't believe I got Elsa wrong, but hey, I still had fun with this. If you guys want to take this trivia for yourselves, channel I got it from, all rights reserved, put in Twitter. And of course, nothing in the comments for any of the ones that we have been looking at so far. And trivia 15. I hope you guys enjoy this trivia. I had a lot of fun with this one. I love Disney villains except for one, so you can guess which one. It's kind of obvious. Um, if you guys take this quiz for yourself, channel, all right, thanks, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 so nothing there, and of course, we just did this one, so she didn't call anyone out for the rest of the trivias that she has, but she also mentioned that she just started doing this, I don't know if maybe this is like the first time she's done it, which was trivia 16, uh, so maybe we can look forward to the rest of the trivias of her calling me out or other people out to do this one. So can't wait to see those because obviously I will take the trivias that you call me out on or I'm sure the people that you call out are going to do the trivias as well. So I want to say thank y'all so much for watching this in this really random video that I decided to make today. If you guys want to take the trivia for yourself, I'll obviously link it in the description box. I will link the channel. You know, Harley Baby is forever linked in my description box as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll also link Harley Baby's video, the trivia 16. So you're gonna guys gonna get a lot of links down there, but it's probably something you guys are used to at this point. So I thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.